Hello, welcome to part eight of Extent Reports training series. In this session, I'm going to show you the different reporters which are supported by Extent Reports. There are different type of reporters, guys, under Extent Reports, okay? In the previous session, I showed you how to configure a project with Extent Reports library. But under the Extent Reports, there are different type of reporters. Okay, there are different type of reporters we can use based on our requirement and purpose in our projects. So what are these different reporters that we can use with this extent reports in our projects? I'm going to show you. Okay, just go to the official website of extent reports that is extentreports.com and uh, just go to the docs and in the docs go to the latest version and say Java or something. Okay, then you will be taken to this page. Just uh, expand this getting started. And here you will see a reporters option. Select this reporters. Now you'll be taken to this reporter section where you can see the different type of reporters which are supported by the extent reports, okay? Along with extent reports, if you add this line in your code, then extend spark reporter will be used. If you add this line in your code, then extend event reporter will be used, but it is a pro one, okay? This is a free one. You don't have to pay any license amount for the extent reports to use this extent spark reporter. But coming to this one, it is a pro reporter, okay? Pro kind of reporter, you have to pay the license amount, then only we can use, okay? And then we have extend email reporter, which is also a pro one. For this, we have to create an object for extend email reporter object along with extend report. Okay, these are like uh, extra uh, reporters, guys, type of reporters. And uh, if you can see something like this, like uh, if you say extend report is an engine and you can attach any type of reporter to that engine, okay? Based on the type of the reporter you attach it to that particular extent report engine, that type of report will be generated in the project. But these two are the pro versions. Okay, we need to have the license. We need to have the extent reporter, extent report license. Okay, we cannot use a free one. Community edition we cannot use. Community version we cannot use. We have to use a paid one and purchase a license to use this type of reports. And extent Spark reporter and this extent uh, Clover reporter are the free ones. Okay. So we generally use a Spark reporter case. Whenever you see some projects using the reporters with extent report, we use a free one. Uh, out of all this, we generally use the free one that is extent Spark reporter. If your company is okay to purchase extent report library paid version, then you can go with the uh, pro versions of these reporters. Okay. So uh, in the upcoming sessions, I'm going to show you how to use this extent Spark reporter, one of the type of reporters under extent report to generate the extent reports. Okay. So for now, this session is all about showing you the different reporters which are supported by the extent reports. That's all. Okay. Practical demonstration of using one of these reporters with extent report, that is extent spark reporter with extent report. I am going to show you in the upcoming sessions. Okay. Of this series. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another topic on this extent reports. Till then, see you. Bye bye.